the visitor has directed that the university be opened with immediate effect. This announcement ends a two months long stalemate at the university following a directive by President Yuan Museveni to close the country's oldest institution of higher learning. The directive takes immediate effect. Normally, two, the students will be reporting back on the 2nd of uh, January 2017 to continue with the first semester that was interrupted by the closure of the university. At the time of the closure, students had one month and 17 days to sit their end of semester exams. Whereas no new dates have been communicated, the chairman of the University Council, Dr. Charles Wan ATM, says the administration will make up for lost time. Our normal semester is 16 weeks, isn't it? The students had 10 weeks before the closure. They are going to have all the, in fact, they are going to have seven weeks. The reason is, one week before the closure, the lecturers were not teaching. So we have also brought that on. So the, from the 2nd of January, they will have seven weeks to cover for the time that was lost due to the closure of the university. Then there will be one week of residential break. One week of residential break, then the second semester will begin. And the second semester will run the full 16 weeks as planned. The closure does not change the fees payment process. They are technically coming into the 11th week of the semester. And we would like to inform them that uh, according to the fee policy of the university, all fees must be paid by the 12th week of the semester. Therefore, students must ensure that all fees are paid by the 16th of January of 2017. While this was not the first time that Makereda University was closed, it was the first time that the president ordered it to shut down. The vice chancellor will in the course of the next uh, week or so communicate a date which uh, Senate and Council would have agreed upon. So graduation will take place sometime in the course of the, uh, probably in March, thereabout. In September 2011, the University Council ordered the closure of the university over a pay dispute between the administration and the lecturers. As the university reopens, students and lecturers will be hoping that ghosts from the past will not return to haunt the institution. Shirandhuchri, NTV Weekend Edition.